with the recent boom of BL or boys love drama, Fujoshi Ukarige ni Kokuru strikes me differently. Fujoshi Ukari Gei Kokuru is about June, an 18-year-old high school student who hides the fact that he's gay. He meets Miura-san, a closeted Fujoshi who fell in love with him. Right at the start, we already have a conflict between our two major characters. June hides the fact that he's gay because he knows that he will be ostracized and bullied for his sexual preference. He hates himself for being gay, but at the same time, fully embracing it by having a relationship with an older lover. Mira, on the other hand, fully embraces the concept of homosexuality. She loves reading about it and fantasizing about it. To be honest, I can see my younger self when Mira said, someone who is addicted to BL content, but at the same time oblivious to hardship that the LGBTQI plus community faces around her. Though I have changed my views after various educational discussions, Mira on the other hand still has a lot to learn. I have only watched the first six episodes of the drama as of now, and I want to say that if you're looking for a happy BL content, this is not the one for you. Fujoshi Ukari Gei Mikokoru is not BL, but rather a coming of age story. It's about June facing his hardship, his sexuality, and seeking acceptance from his family, his peers, and his own self. This is not the happy-go-lucky drama you're looking for. There is a trigger warning around episode 5 and 6. It gets graphic, and if you're not comfortable with that, I advise you to stop watching or considering this series at all. I want more people to watch this drama because it's not only a story of how someone who's not part of the LGBTQI feels about, but it's also about learning how to respect those who are different from us. June has a lot of self-hatred in this drama and it can be showcased a lot, so it can be a bit triggering to some of you, but if you're not brave, if you're brave enough, I advise you to watch it. At the same time, it also has a very good OST. It uses a lot of Queen songs and it also plays iconic songs during intense dramas such as the Bohemian Rhapsody being played at a confrontation scene. This is also a story of learning. For us who has been a fan of BL, it teaches us that while the characters we fantasize read um, in our mangas, watch in our anime and dramas are fictional, the struggles of those around us are real. That we should also learn to look at those around us, talk, and educate ourselves. Fujoshi Ukari Gei Mikokuru is not Bia. It's a story of acceptance and respect 